You may not know it, but Scotland's capital city is filled with magic. We've got magic shops, a magic potions tavern, and even a magic castle. My name is Kevin Quantum. I'm a magician, and this is my guide to the hidden magic of the city of Edinburgh. Edinburgh is the birthplace of the world's favourite boy wizard, Harry Potter, and various cafes claim to have kept J.K. Rowling in coffee and cakes while she worked. She definitely wrote some of the first book here, and wrote some of the later ones here. These are J.K. Rowling's handprints. Let's see if she's left any magic here. When Guardian Leviosa. She has! Scotland's closes are full of magical history. In fact, New Assembly Close has a plaque dedicated to one of Scotland's greatest performers, the late Charles Cameron, the godfather of bizarre storytelling magic. Right outside the gates of Edinburgh Castle, this memorial commemorates the hundreds of women who were executed for suspected witchcraft. Here on this spot, 400 years ago, lived Thomas Weir, also known as the Wizard of West Bow. It was said that his staff twisted and writhed before eventually completely vanishing when he was burned at the stake for witchcraft. Here is the Festival Theatre, previously the site of the Empire Theatre, which tragically burnt down over 100 years ago, taking with it one of the greatest magicians of all time, the great Lafayette. For me, he was the greatest magician who ever lived. He really knew how to put on a show, and his illusions were some of the greatest the world has ever seen. Such was his popularity that thousands of people lined the streets from the city centre to here at Pierce Hill Cemetery near Portobello, where the great Lafayette is now laid to rest, along with his beloved dog, Beauty. Well, that's the end of my tour. I hope you've had fun, but now it's over to you to find your own mysteries here hidden in the city of Edinburgh. <laughs>